Good morning, everybody. Let's just come to the Lord in prayer. Father, as we come before you today, either here in this place or from our homes via the internet, we thank you that we can worship and praise you wherever we are. Help us to know that no matter where we are, we can take time to thank you, to be assured of your presence with us no matter what is happening in our lives. Help us to look to you and to keep our eyes focused on Jesus. It's sometimes so hard to just come and be quiet in your presence when everything seems to be such a mess around us. But help us to look to you continually for help comfort and guidance and to trust that you are there that you have promised to always be with us we remember the words of the song turn your eyes upon jesus look full in his wonderful face and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace in the quiet, let's focus our eyes on Jesus. Father, as we rest in your presence, help us to be a channel of love and peace so that your blessing can reach out to others. We bring our world to you and we ask you to be with those in war-torn countries who have lost everything. We pray you will strengthen our Christian brothers and sisters as they share your love and give what practical help they can to their neighbours. Help us to support aid charities like Tear Fund and Open Doors and others to enable them to give aid to them. We pray for peace in these countries, that their leaders will begin to sit down and listen to each other. And for all leaders of the world to bring peace and reconciliation, not talk of war and hatred. We pray for the election in America. We remember that you are in control of this world, not us or Donald Trump or Joe Biden. And as we see the devastation COVID is having, we ask that you would intervene, that you will work in a miraculous way to bring an end to this pandemic. But give wisdom to governments to know what are the right actions to take. We pray for everyone who works in hospitals, that you would strengthen them mentally and physically as they care for patients. And in our community, we pray that mental health care will be given to those who need it and that all other treatments will not be delayed unnecessarily. Help us all to take responsibility to do all we can to stop the spread of this virus by not forgetting to take precautions. We remember those in our fellowship who are unwell or distressed at this time. And we think especially of Simon and thank you that his kidney transplant has been successful and ask that you would give wisdom to the doctors to get his blood pressure under control so that he can go home. And there are others not known to everyone here. But in the quiet, we bring our family and our friends to Jesus. And here at Mutley, we ask for wisdom as we negotiate a safe way to be open and meet as his church. As we seek a new minister, we pray that you will show us who is the right person to lead us. And we pray for the person of your choosing that they would know that they are meant to be here. Father, help us to remember that we are one body knit together by you. 
As Paul reminds us in Ephesians, the whole body joined and held together by every supporting ligament grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. Help us to build each other up in love, supporting each other and doing our part in your work. Help us to remember that you are in control, even if it doesn't always feel like it, and to put our trust in you and to always keep our eyes focused on Jesus. And we ask these things in his precious name. Amen.